Timoney from the Office of Public Relations at the University of Kentucky. And today I am here with the Dean of the College of Nursing, Dr. Janie Heath. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So as we walk through the College of Nursing, the Student Lounge, tell us a little bit about where we are. Well, actually, this is the heart of where student success starts. This is our Student Lounge. And it's amazing when you see our students that huddle in here, they're actually mentoring as peer mentors, helping each other go over things like their case studies. And for me, I so enjoy starting my mornings every day, just walking through the student lounge and ending my day, coming back through the student lounge, just to learn about what are they learning. And it's pretty inspiring. The other thing I so enjoy about this space and this, this area is just to check on our students and make sure they're doing okay. It's a priority for us to ensure their health and wellness. So I like to talk to them, not only about what they're learning and what they're excited about with nursing, but to make sure they're taking care of themselves as well. Well, tell me a little bit about your students. Why? Are they picking the UK College of Nursing? Certainly there's the number one reason and that's the love for the University of Kentucky. But the other thing is our students know we have an incredibly competitive program. Literally one out of four that are looking at becoming nurses will be admitted to the University of Kentucky. And then once they're here, their freshman year, they're pre-nursing students, then we have two out of three that then will matriculate into the nursing program. So it's very competitive. And then once they graduate, they've got another hurdle, which is one of our signature marks of success, and that's their board results. So they take boards, which are known as NCLEX. We have first time pass rates of 97% over the past 10 years. So we have very, very distinguished faculty that bring that level of quality into the classroom, into our research arenas, and into our practice arena as well. Well, speaking of faculty, let's head upstairs and take a look at some of the areas where they're getting that hands-on learning. Okay, that'd be great. So we've made our way to the Clinical Simulation and Learning Center. Tell me a little bit about why it's so important that your students have really hands-on learning experiences. Well, it's absolutely critical. You know, we always say as educators that you really just cannot throw the book at students for them to get it. It really involves interactive learning, hands-on learning, and facilitated learning. And our students, whether they're undergraduate or graduate students or interprofessional students, have that opportunity to practice critical skills for healthcare delivery, as well as the, the physical technical skills and communication skills. And they're doing that in an environment that's safe. We have a, a newly renovated unit to be very similar to UK Healthcare with the Children's Hospital. So this was actually a partnership with UK Healthcare that we were able to renovate and once again for our students to have opportunities to practice critical skills so that they are delivering evidence-based care in a safe environment. And that's so important, I know, for all the students. Um, I know that we've talked a lot about the students and what they're doing in the labs and the classroom, but I also know that you have a special passion for making sure that students are well, even outside their classwork, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. So if you think about the intensity, just looking at our simulated rooms, we know that the demands are high in our healthcare arenas. It's very stressful environments. And we worry about what that's doing to our nursing workforce. And so we wanted to look at a way that we can help better prepare them with their mental health. And so we dedicated this space, it's called the CPR room, which stands for Cultivate Practices for Resilience, where they have a private, quiet, safe place for programs and activities to help develop resilient skills, such as 
mindful meditation and relaxation. So Dean Heath, when it comes to research and care, how important is it to be right next to UK Healthcare as well as the other health colleges on campus? We've had a long and rich history with UK Healthcare Nursing to have a very intentional and purposeful focus to ensure we stay integrated. UK Healthcare is a phenomenal learning environment for our students. Actually, there are probably around 1,000 beds at UK Healthcare when you look at Chandler Hospital, Good Sam Hospital, as well as Eastern State, where over 2,500 nurses are taking care of some of the most critically ill patients in the state of Kentucky. The other thing that's really special and unique about UK Healthcare is that we are magnet. So having that magnet status says a lot. It's the premier national recognition of nursing excellence throughout an entire system. So we are very fortunate that our students are learning in magnet environments. We are truly integrated. Where else are you going to find on one campus, not only 18 colleges, but seven of those colleges are health professions. So we're all coming together to work together to see how we can improve care delivery. The work you do in the labs, the work you do serving patients, goes beyond this campus, right? And how, how are you impacting the people of Kentucky? Right now we've got about a $21 million active research portfolio, and that's very impressive. We're ranked among the top in the country for nursing research, for those that come from public institutions. And what we're able to do is we're able to apply that new knowledge that we've discovered and take it right out there and put it into clinical practice. You know, we've partnered with College of Engineering to design a digitalized spoon to measure salt for our patients who have heart failure. And the one that we're really excited about is the work that we do with the Pathways program for those moms that are struggling with addiction. You know, the impact that we're making with some nursing interventions. We've made a partnership with the UK Department of Family and Community Medicine for our nurse practitioners and students to provide services in Wilmore, Kentucky. And we started this clinic almost three years ago as limited services. And now this year we've gone full service with primary care. You know, we believe that practice drives research and research drives practice. We partnered with the College of Dentistry to start the UK Diagnosis, Wellness and Prevention Clinic. As patients are coming in for their oral health care, we're also there. We have a nurse practitioner there, faculty member, who's providing primary care services as well. So those are some ways that we're trying to drive change with our practice, is bringing that research right there to the heart of care delivery. That's what it's all about. Thank you so much for showing us around the College of Nursing today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And if you'd like more information on the College of Nursing, just visit the website on the screen.